Hey there everybody, this is Evan Rogers. I'm coming at you today with an exciting listening video. And this one is going to be trickier, it's gonna be more difficult, it's gonna take more time to edit, blah, 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 blah. I'd love it if you go and support me on Patreon, subscribe star, last time I'll ask. This one is gonna be tricky because she's only saying like five sentences in this whole video, but these sentences are very high level. And I understand that probably a lot of my audience is N5 to N3. I would be surprised if I have many N2s or higher. Uh, to be quite honest, my channel isn't at all serving anybody above an N3 level at this point. What she's saying in this, the grammar is still N3 maximum, but the vocab, I think, is higher than N3. She's using higher vocab, and uh, she's also using sentences that are very long. So to explain the grammar will take time. So I'm going to make these videos a little bit shorter and we're going to do a lot of listening in each video, okay? You're, so you're going to have me say them and then you're going to have uh, the lady say them in the video. And if you want to listen to the original video, this is from the, uh, I think it was called Atarushi Virusu or Atarushi Corona Virusu Kyotsukeru Koto 3's Ano-san. It was from February 27th. It's now basically the middle of March. So it's a little bit old. I don't know if they keep those articles up there for very long. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's listen to what we're going to be listening to today, which is just two sentences. One's not even really a sentence, but it kind of is. And then we're going to have a little piece that isn't said. We're just going to read the grammar, okay? Okay. Okay, so if that sounded terrifying to you, I don't blame you. She's speaking full speed and she is not like one of those Watashi no namai wa kind of people at all in the end in the in the JLPT tests. Okay, so let's go ahead go ahead and see what she says. We have Kansen, which is infectious or infection contagion, Boshi, which is a protection or um, prevention, something like that. So notice how there's no no particle in between these two nouns. Infection, infectious, and uh, protection, uh, prevention, something like that. Those are two nouns, and yet they're not putting a no particle between them. We do something like that in English. We'll say something like infection or prevention, or I don't know, what would it be? In infectious prevention, maybe something like contagion prevention, something like that. We'll sometimes put two things that are nouns right next to each other and just it, it works for whatever reason. Uh, that's what they're doing there. So, Infectious prevention. Koto. This is a little bit strange because you might expect a ga particle to be here. We'll talk about why that is. Koto turns it into a noun. Dekiru, things we can do, uh, stuff we can do, things we can do. So the koto makes can do into a subject, or excuse me, into a noun. So uh, things we can do, stuff we can do. And you'll notice I said we because watashitachi is the we. Stuff that we can do. Stuff that is doable. Doable things. Uh, so notice the ni particle is what's strange here because surely the thing that we can do in that little sentence, the things that we can do, we can do, we should be the subject and we should use a ga particle. For whatever reason, the ni particle is used very frequently in sentences like this. I don't think I have a great explanation for it. It's just one of those things, uh, things that we can do, things that you can do, things that he can do, things that somebody else can do. Uh, she can do that, things like that. Uh, a knee particle will show up occasionally. So, sorry, not much of an explanation there. I can't really piecemeal that one together. Let's listen to just that again. Hopefully you could kind of at least hear the vocabulary at this point. Uh, let's hear my beautiful voice, which her pronunciation is better than mine. Flat out a minute. Kansenboshi, watashitachi ni dekiru koto. Kansenboshi. So here we have Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. And here she is. Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. And one more time for safe measure. Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. Kansenboshi. Watashitachi ni dekiru koto. Okay, 
if you couldn't hear what she said there, I, I, I urge you to go back and hit just the back button. And we'll go on to what she says next. This is actually the beginning of a very long sentence that will take a long time to explain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have different videos that show you each part of the vid of, of, of this sentence and then we'll listen to each chunk individually and then I'll make another video that pieces them all together for you, okay? Okay, so Shingata coronavirus, uh, the coronavirus is the subject of the sentence most likely. Kansen shiasui. Okay, so this yasui here is shiasui, uh, stem of a verb, i.e., mas, take off the mas, and then add yasui. Easy to do. So, nomi mas, nomi yasui, easy to drink. Tabe mas, tabe yasui, easy to eat. Hanashimasu, hanashi yasui, easy to, to speak, something like that, easy to say. Yasui. The opposite would be nikui, so shinikui, something that's hard to do. Okay, so kansen is to infect, we saw that above. Easily infected. Notice this is yasui, it is an e adjective. It conjugates or agglutinates like an e adjective. Yasui, yasukunai, yasukunakata, yasukute, etc., etc., etc. Um, so, this is this this kansen shiasui is technically describing the shin gata coronavirus. Thus, this is likely a subject. However, uh, recently people are treating this as a as as a direct object. Sometimes, so you you can either put an o here or a ga here. However, here they choose not to use a particle. That's totally fine. We don't need particles. Shin gata coronavirus kansen shiasui no wa. Okay, so the no here is um a is a, uh, 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 it, it nominates this, it turns it into a noun. So, the easily spreading, something like that. Easily spreading the coronavirus. Why? As for things that easily spread the coronavirus. We're going to find out, so I'm just gonna show you this first. This is the beginning of a sentence that has A, B, C, D and then this is all modifying E right here. So we have a giant sentence here and I don't want to spend a lot of time translating this all because then each one of the listening chunks will be far away. However, we do want to address this. Shingata coronavirus kansen shiasui no blah 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 blah. All of those three senses that we're going to do in the next few videos is going to be modifying kankyo. And that is uh, situations or circumstances, something like that. Kankyo da. So, easily spreading the, uh, the, the, the new form, coronavirus. I guess people are calling it the Wuhan flu, the Kung flu. That's a fun name. Everybody was Kung flu fighting. A oh, Corona Chan was Kung flu fighting. Anybody out there do good music videos? You got to make a Corona Chan was Kung flu fighting. Somebody's got to make that video that'll be a lot of money anyway shingata coronavirus to content yes we know so the easily spreading the coronavirus blah 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 is these situations so this no this no here is in reference to the situations regarding spreading the coronavirus so it is easy to spread the coronavirus in these in such situations. Dato can guide our It's thought. We'll get to that later, but it is thought that these are the situations where it is easy to spread the coronavirus. Notice how this no is turning into like a where we spread the coronavirus. When when we have the end of the sentence in mind, this no is almost best translated as where it's situations like these that spread the coronavirus easily or situations like these where the coronavirus can spread easily notice where is our translation for the no occasionally a that will be the translation for this no all right so let's listen to her say that okay and uh let's listen to me say that because i'm beautiful Shin... no i'm sorry i won't sing Shingata coronavirus kansen shiasui no wa I think that's probably the best intonation. I'm not 100% fluent. My pronunciation isn't as perfect as it should be. It might even say hi. Anyway, I can't hear what she's saying because I'm actually just editing in the video, as you can probably tell by this point. So, 
Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. 新型コロナウイルス感染しやすいのは新型コロナウイルス感染しやすいのは新型コロナウイルス感染しやすいのは<笑> That's not right. 感染しやすいのは新型コロナウイルス感染しやすいのは新型コロナウイルス感染しやすいのは And just for helping you guys out, I'll put a few of them right one after the other. Boom. 感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは、感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは、Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're able to turn that from, I didn't know what the hell she was saying. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck she was saying. Excuse me. Just cursed on in my video. I didn't know what the heck she was saying. Hopefully we took that from, I didn't know what the heck she was saying to, I can kind of make it out. And then I hope that if you watch this again, there's enough practice in here that you will be able to turn this little chunk into I understood what she said, I could hear what she said. That's what we need. We want I understood what she said and I could hear what she said. That's what you need to get out of listening. Okay? So here's both of what she said again. 感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは、感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは。Hopefully you're getting your ears ready for it. 感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは。感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは。感染防止、私たちにできること。新型コロナウイルス、感染しやすいのは。And it goes in like that. Okay, you probably saw on the opening、uh, slide, the opening picture, this little sentence as well.、Uh, she didn't pronounce it though, she didn't say this though. Konna, this kind of kankyo, which is、um, a situation, a circumstance. We saw that when I talked about the end of the,、uh, the sentence that we're gonna take in chunks. Konna kankyo ni wa, so konna kankyo ni wa chui. Okay, so chui. This should be a verb, chui shimas, chui s t a h o g a i chui shinasai, something like that. So they're trying to say, you, say to you, be careful, okay? So notice how the wa particle after the ni and all the stuff, the wa particle focuses our attention on the chui. Be careful of this stuff right here. And I want to point out how we're translating this ni particle as of. So, kon no kankyo, these situations. Chui, take care, take caution, take caution of these situations, of these circumstances, of these、uh, things you might find yourself in. Okay, so I want to talk about this transition of of. In your head, you think all of those different translations of ni you've heard before, and you hear me say this, and you might be like, that makes sense that it's that kind of meaning, or. You're thinking to yourself, how does that mean to or at? I don't understand how that. Think about it this way. Chui suru. In order for you to take care of something, to take, be cautious of something, you need to focus at that thing. And that sort of feeling of taking focus of a thing and being cautious of that thing. Notice, notice how I just did that. You're going to be focusing your worries at something, on something, to something. All of those three words that I just said, on, at, to, are definitely the knee particle in most situations. But in English, we're going to flip it a little bit. Take caution of that thing. Take caution for that thing. And in fact, for is another translation of ni that you might hear in other situations. Anyway, I just want to talk about how that ni particle translates a little bit funky in English.、Um, but it actually makes a lot of sense in Japanese. If, if you're used to ni meaning to at or、um, to at. And the other one I said, to at and、uh, take care and put your focus towards that thing, something like that. Anyway,、uh, if, if, you're used to, if you're used to knee being to or at, then it, you can, hopefully you can see how knee makes sense here. You're putting your focus at, you're, you're, you're turning your caution attention towards that thing.、Um, and, and, but just when we say that in English, we say of, to take care of. And you also, like I just said, you might hear for. Sometimes you'll hear for. T-、uh, be cautious for this.、Uh, take care for that.、Uh, for is another transition of me, like I said earlier. Maybe I'll just delete this because I said the same thing twice. Okay, so take caution of. 
these situations. I understand this might be a shorter video than you, I understand this might have been a shorter video than you might have been hoping, hoping for, especially after waiting so long for this video. I apologize, it's just simply I have to get these things organized, figure out how I wanna present them and all that sort of stuff. Uh, at the very least, I hope you could at least hit that like button or share with your friends. At the very least, do that, and I'd very much appreciate it. And I do appreciate all of my Patreon and subscribe star supporters. Thank you all very much. Honestly, these videos don't get a lot of views, so that Patreon's what keeps me going. Comment in the description if you thought this was helpful, or if you want me to change things. Let me know, because I do take what you guys say into consideration. Sometimes what you're saying I think is okay, but then what I try to do it doesn't quite work the way I want it to. I don't want this to be a brick of me talking, followed by like four specks of them speaking. So, but I also have to take you from, you don't understand at all, to I got it. And that's difficult when she's speaking full blast, I'm a native NHK announcer. And in, in fact, in the video, I'll try to put the image right here. In the video, she does it. She is the NHK announcer or an NHK announcer. So she's blasting it for Japanese people at Japanese people levels. So anyway, hopefully this helps. Let's listen to everything that we just heard one more time. And I will catch you later. Peace out. And let's sing Vampirina. We can uh, sing Booty Vampirina. You want to sing Booty Vampirina? What's that, uh, what's that song? Uh, we're living the scream. <gasps> Whoa, Vampirina. I can and gum zoo. Maybe blue with pointy teeth. Uh, maybe blue is pointy.